And welcome, welcome everyone to the first Friday night scrapping of the new year. Let's get started. wonderful to see you. Mary, Cindy, Audra, Jenny's here, Gwen, Wendy, Carolyn, Sandy, Kim, Sue. Oh my goodness, it's so great to see all of you and happy, happy new year. Welcome to Friday Night Scrapbooking, the very first Friday Night Scrapbooking of the new year, 2024. So we are going to talk tonight all about my crafty plans. I have a lot of things going on, spinning around in my head. So I have to say, be prepared. There will be some chat tonight, okay? So, you know, as I've said before, warning, there is chat ahead, okay? <laughs> so it's going to be a chatty New Year, Friday night scrapbooking celebration, and I'm just so happy you guys are all here. Jerry's here, Sheila, Diane, Judy H. Happy New Year. Debbie's here, and Krista, Sandy, Mary B., Lorraine, Christine. Oh, it's so good to see all my favorite names popping up in the chat. So good. Um, Annette's here, Bobby Ann, Rietta, Carrie. Debbie, Jerry, Kathy G, hello, Bobby, Ann, Ruth, Karen, oh my goodness, so good, Sharon, all the way from Australia, I know you are in the opposite season that we are, right, it is getting cold here, and you are hot, oh, and I do want to say, <laughs> I know Sherry's like, Lauren, are you okay, there was an earthquake, it was fine, um, my husband felt it, he was in the part of the house that had the, um, crawl space, but I was on the concrete. I did not feel a thing. not a thing. The epicenter was, oh, well, I don't know, about 45 miles away from us. So, you know, kind of far, but uh, it no aftershocks, you know, and so, yeah, it's just kind of been rocking and rolling here in Southern California, but we're all good. So thank you for your kind words. <laughs> all right. And Donna's here. Yay. Joy, Mina, so good to see you. Teresa, Jean, Laverne, oh, so good to see all of you guys. Cindy, Diane, oh gosh, <laughs> just like my friends. You're just like my friends right here. <laughs> so tonight, as promised, we are going to talk about a lot of new things. We're going to chat, and I'm going to tell you kind of what I have planned for the new year and some of the changes that I have decided to implement for 2024. And they are kind of um, a, a lot of, when I had some time off, I, I did a lot of thinking, a lot of brainstorming, uh, chatted with some friends, really kind of talked a lot, thought a lot about my business. And so um, I'm feeling super excited about these changes that are coming along. So we're just going to kind of dig in and tell you all the good stuff tonight. So we will be talking about crafty plans, but also some changes. So um, what I'm going to do tonight, I have my little schedule right here because I have so many things. I wrote down four pages. <laughs> yeah, four pages of what I needed to go over tonight. <laughs> Don't get worried. We're going to scrap. Okay, guys, we're going to scrap. I have a really fun project. Okay, but we are going to go over um, the new plans and everything. And then we are also going to uh, 
talk about, we're going to scrap a title page. And the title page is going to kind of tie in to what some of my new crafty plans are, which I'm super excited about. And then um, I'm going to talk about, like, as we're kind of going through, I'm going to talk about kind of what's happening, what's new, and all that good stuff. But um, before we start all of that, I do want to let you know <laughs> that there are new products. And along with new products, um, you will, let me see, whoops, sorry, hang on, wrong screen. I had the uh, other screen up. Let me go here. Um, one second. Um, and the new products launched on Tuesday because there was a holiday on Monday. And uh, the new products are now live. So if you haven't had a chance to look at them, I'm going to, sorry, I had the screen up and it timed out. Here we go. I just wanted to um, show you, here we go. The right screen share. <laughs> my favorite is the album and the spine promo. I was looking at my spines and going, oh, wow, I need to get a 2024 spine. I don't have a spine for 2024 yet. And then some other miscellaneous ones that I had not ordered yet. So there's a spine promo. If you, um, I believe if you order three, then you get 33 or th what, what is it? Let's, let's look at the promo deals here. And um, it's the spine is three plus custom foiled spines and you get 33% off. So it's all about the threes. And then there's also the 12 by 12 album. So if you order four or more albums, you get your choice of a free uh, album of, it's an exclusive one that's like a shimmer blue and one that has 2024 on it. That's also a shimmer blue, but they also launched the This Life uh, collection. So I'm going to go back really quick because um, this is kind of a whole new project that Creative Memories decided to launch. And some of you may have seen this. I know some of you have already ordered it. I ordered mine, but shipping is super slow. So it's not going to be here till Tuesday. So I don't have anything to share except right here on the screen. But uh, the, this life is kind of a new basic collection, as you can see, some primary colors, basics that um, you can use for the whole year. And when I get my hands on this, I'm really going to take a look at it and kind of figure out how I want to use this in my scrapbooking. Um, but I know some of this really kind of is aimed more at beginner scrapbookers. But I think that there's always a way that we can, you know, kind of tweak it to meet us. But a couple products I'm really excited about. They're going to have the the This Life calendar bundle. I can't wait to get my hands on that. I, and that is probably going to be an addition into my new 2024 album. Not quite sure how I'm going to use that yet. They also have the new write-on stickers. So these are stickers you just write on and then trim it. And you can see they come in strips and then you can just stick it on your page. So that's kind of cool. And then how long, how long have we wanted a tab punch? So um, there's a brand new tab punch and there is a buy it all bundle. If you like all these things, all this color, and we're really going to talk about color tonight, which I'm super excited about. Um, then you can get the buy it all bundle and save 10%. Um, and you get that tab punch and the new border punch, which is a banner border maker. You can see that. Uh, as well as, I'm super excited. Finally, we have a Valentine's collection for this year. And uh, we're, we're going to have some fun with this collection. It's been a while since we've seen Valentine collection. Um, so I love the pink and the brown. It's just, I love pink and brown. That's so fun. So when that comes in, we'll have some fun playing with uh, the new Valentine collection. So you can see they've also added a few exclusive album colors to the um, product line so that they are just here for the promo, for the promotion. And then um, after January 19th, they are going to be gone. So whew, watch out. If you like those colors, grab them. And then um, there's also the lifter stick back by popular demand. I can't tell you how many people were like, Lauren, do you have any more of those? 
and I did not. So I'm really happy they've restocked the lifter stick and they are back in stock. Now, this bundle right here is really where I want to spend a little time talking because this is going to feed right in to some of my crafty plans for 2024. And the limited edition Rainbow Refresh bundle is back. And I would highly recommend if you want to do this project with me that... Um, you take a look at this bundle, and I believe someone mentioned that Noreen talked about using the pod for organizing your 2024 album. Okay, well, that is exactly what we're going to use the pod. What I'm going to use my pod for is to organize my 2024 album. And so uh, that is, uh, again, just refresh, come back, and uh, there is a new color that is avocado that has been included with the um, uh, cardstock kit, okay? So Lauren, what is this whole thing about color and, um, you know, why are you so excited about color and what's all that about? And uh, part of that, what I'm going to talk about tonight is my crafty plan for 2024 for my 24, 2024 family album. Um, what, you know, how am I going to structure that? And I'm, I'm going to kind of talk you through um, some exciting news. One of my good friends, Donna, turned me on to this idea and I'm super excited. I just, I, I cannot stop thinking about it. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. But before we jump into that, one thing I want to do is just share um the let's see which I've got to get the the right oh here I want to share my new word of the year because I feel like this word is going to give you a reference point for kind of some of the changes that I'm making and I just want to also say while I've got this card up Thank you, thank you. Hello to everyone who is now here. I love it. Thank you for hopping on and saying hello. So thank you, thank you. Um, and it's so good to see all of you. And if you have questions, please do pop uh, those into the chat. And putting a cue in front really helps me kind of uh, look for those questions. So I, I do um, want to answer Sometimes I just don't always see them. I see Deb's here, Angela's here, Laura's here. Okay, so Jean is here. Oh my gosh. Um, and Linda, actually, see, perfect cue. She's got the cue. The lifter stick is for picking up little things um, that are, you know, little tiny pieces to help you instead of your two, you know, pinching your fingers. It's just like a stickiness that you can kind of pick things up and move them around. I'll get mine out and hopefully we can use it tonight. You can see. Okay. Um, hello. Hello. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So my word for the year, I just want to make sure I went through all the questions. My word for the year I've decided is the word embrace. The reason I chose this word is because I kind of, like I said, I did a lot of looking back at 2023 and I just was trying to come up with a plan that felt right for me and for my business that brought some calm into my life that kind of created a little more space for me to create, but also um, uh, gave me an opportunity to really move forward in a direction that I want to. So when I think of the word embrace, to me, it's all about embracing change. And what do I mean about embracing change? Well, let me let me move this out of the way. Embracing change to me is some of you may have heard that Creative Memories got sold um, a few months ago. And so Caleb, who you may or may not have heard about, um, was the uh, owner who brought Creative Memories back. And he decided to sell the company. And that was one reason we had so many promotions and so many specials last year. 
um, was I think it was a kind of a year's worth of planning. We didn't know about this until, you know, it happened. Um, and then uh, there's a new company. It's kind of a collaboration. Uh, it, it's an investment company that bought Creative Memories. As far as we know, um, things are going to remain the same. There's still a lot of product that is set up to come in for the next year. They've done all that ordering. And it's really just kind of a, a passing of the baton to um, a new set of folks who want to own the company. That's really all I know as far as, you know, what I've been told and as an advisor. And so I am hoping that really uh, the change, embracing the change, that we're still going to see all these wonderful things uh, from Creative Memories. We're probably not going to see all the same specials and promotions. And, you know, it's like, oh, this week it's this and that week is that. I think that was just something that happened last year. They're going to kind of go back to their usual cadence of um, a launch at the beginning of the month, a mid-month mid -month launch, a summer promotion, and a Black Friday promotion. And then along the way, we'll have cardstock buffets and we'll have, you know, smaller little promotions, um, buy get promotions. But as far as I know, that is what's happening. So part of it is embracing the change, right? So how do, how do we kind of keep going as content creators, as business women, and, you know, kind of go, what's the next right step? And so part of that, I also had to look at my own business. And one thing that I realized is I didn't have enough time for the things in my business that I really cared about. And to me, that was my customer base, the people who use me as their creative memories advisor, and my team. So I was, I was always focused on creating content and doing my Tidy Up Tuesdays and, you know, okay, every two weeks doing a Friday night scrapbooking. So I really had to look at what I can do to um, bring a little more calm, embrace a new change. And what I've decided is that Friday night scrapbooking is one of the areas that is going to have a change for the new year. And I have to say, just upfront, there is never a lack of content as far as my channel goes and as far as how many other people are out there making scrapbooking videos now, right? So um, the content is, you know, I have over 200 videos on my channel. There's always, always a good time to go back and rewatch some of those if you haven't caught up on all of those videos. But my new schedule for Friday night scrapbooking, instead of a rolling two weeks, like every other week we were live, I've switched that and pulled back and we are just going to have a live on the first and third Friday of every month. So a few months, there'll be actually two weeks in between the live. If it's a five week month, does that help, you know, right? So it's always the first and third Friday. So the first Friday is going to be like tonight. Today is a first Friday. Anyone and everyone is welcome. We're going to talk about, you know, we're going to do a title page together. We're going to have some fun. We're going to, I'm going to share a hack with you that um, I got really excited about. So we're going to do that. We are going to create together. But now the third Friday of the month is going to be a little different. And that is going to be for those two things that I told you I wanted to spend more time on. And that is customers for my customers and for my team. So if you've ordered with my Creative Memories link, or if you are on my Creative Memories team, you will get an email uh, inviting you to, again, a live stream like this. We will still show up live, but it will be private. It will not be public like this. Anybody can find this video. Anyone can watch it. So it's going to be uh, a private live stream link. Okay, so that is one way that I can um, reach out and kind of do more for my customers. And one of the reasons that I've had to kind of differentiate a little bit is because um, I realized that there's a lot of, you know, people ask, well, Lauren, can I, can I be part of this? Lauren, can I, you know, can I do this? Can I do? And really, there's a difference. So, I'll, and, and so those of you who have or are advisors who like to come in and watch 
we're going to continue that on every first Friday of the month. But for those who have decided to shop with me as their advisor, I'm going to give you some perks. So this is really kind of an easy way to take a look at what's the difference. And some people have said, well, but I've shopped on your shop. I've shopped on your Scrap Some Joy shop. And I appreciate that. But what I have in my shop are built-in gifts for shopping with me. So at, on my Scrap Some Joy shop, there's going to be new product and specials featured weekly. This week, it's 30% off all cardstock. Any cardstock, um, it, you get 30% off. There's gifts with purchase. And so for different levels of shopping, you're going to get a free sketch. You're going to get... Um, a paper pack, an embellishment pack, and that's new and changing. Um, I should have that in this coming week, the new gift. So that's going to be change. And that's all explained on my website, the, the different gifts with purchase. And you can just add those to your cart as you're shopping. Anyone who's a brand new customer, I'm going to give you a little Craft Some Joy exclusive sampler. And that's one of the things I bring to you in my shop are exclusives. So if you, um, let me just do a quick screen share again. And if you go to my website, you'll know that um, some, you know, many of you have already been here and have seen it. There's a shop tab right here. And under the shop, you can click on Scrap Some Joy Shop. And so one of my favorite new additions, so you can see every week there's a featured new product, and that will tie into what I'm doing on every Tuesday. So this will switch every Tuesday. And, um, and I'll show you what we did this past Tuesday. You'll, you can find that on my YouTube or on Facebook. And uh, we just had a fun little quick project. And so I'm not gonna continue the tidy up series. Instead, we're going to do these little project-based um, videos that are just going to get your creativity going. So this week, um, it's uh, all cardstock is 30% off, but another big change I made to my shop, and some of you have already found it, <laughs> is that I have added added a whole new series of layering shapes. And what I was finding is that when I go to organize my layering shapes, I'm going to scroll down. I, I need to organize this a little better. Here they are. When I go to use my layering shapes, I organize them by shape, right? By shape. Is it a tab? Is it a tag? Is it a stamp? Is it a banner? Is it a rectangle? Is it a square? Is it a circle? <laughs> And it kind of, so over the holiday break, I decided to redo all of my layering shapes and put them as we use them into shapes. And I have to say, I absolutely love these new layering shapes. So whatever it is, like if you go, oh gosh, I just can't get enough rectangles, then you can go order more rectangles and you don't have to order like a collection that has a bunch of other things. Does that make sense? So um, so the layering shapes are new. The I Hope Word Heart, I Hope Word Art album, like I've I've shared with you on YouTube before, um, is new as well. But those are some of the new. I just put a couple more in the shop because these were layering shapes uh, seven, the old number seven. So now there's a new scallop, circles and ovals and uh, squares and rectangles. So I hope that makes it easier, you know, when you're looking at your stash and you're going, oh gosh, I need some more circles. So you can just go buy some more circles if you um, love the layering shapes as much as I do. Okay, so um, so hopefully that kind of makes sense. Uh, there's new exclusives to the shop added regularly. And then as usual, there's retired and hard to find products at those original prices. Um, and those, um, uh, there was a whole slew of new products that were added at the end of the year that were exclusive that advisors could order. And so a lot of those got moved into my Scrap Some Joy shop. Now, in addition, so that that's my shop. That has the built-in gifts, the built-in thank yous, and appreciation for using my online shop. 
Now, if you use my CM link or are on my Creative Memories team, there are other perks to that. And as I mentioned, uh, my team members and my customers will get an invite to the third Friday, the third live, um, the, the live on the third Friday of the month. And then my customers get additional perks, which is they're get, they get invited to my customer Facebook group. They get access to that VIP area, shopping area and area on my website, access to the 101 sketch challenge. And you'll see, you'll get to see tonight a new addition, which is some free cut files and downloads that I'll be creating for my customers. And that will be um, just another perk. So <laughs> Shannon's like, yeah, wow, well, you've been busy. I have been busy. <laughs> Um, and Joni, yes, we do make, my assistant and I do make all the layering shapes here by hand. So I also needed to kind of streamline the process for us. And, uh, and so the layering shapes were kind of um, just a, a fun way to do that. And, and it makes it a lot easier for us in-house to, to get those done. Okay, so if we go back then... I am embracing change. I am embracing the change of this new business. I'm embracing the fact that we've got new owners at Creative Memories. I'm embracing the fact that, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, change happening around us. And then I'm also embracing that my customers and my team members, I truly appreciate you and the support you've given me in my business. So um, this is a way that I can do that without adding more to my schedule because there's there was just no more room to add something else to my schedule. And uh, in addition to those perks, so I hope that really makes sense. Like what are the two ways um, that you can shop with me and the perks that are associated with that? Um, and my pot members, I also, I'm so excited and I appreciate all the feedback you gave me in the pop group. That is another thing that has moved to the top of my list for 2024 is to uh, really refresh the pop series and the pop planner. And so I needed to find more, more time to do. Results. Ooh, sorry, Siri. Sorry, that was um, Siri getting in my business there. <laughs> um, so the pop planners got um, scheduled for a big refresh and uh, we'll be working on that. So uh, good fun changes are happening with the pop member group. And that's also another thing. If you ever need more one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one, -on -one, but like more time, community time, the pop member group is a wonderful, wonderful way to join in and be part of a, a really fun scrapping community. And so even though I won't be here live for everyone on the third Friday of the month, you can always join the pop member group. And there's tons of uh, content in there. There's every month a four-hour ad-free video. <laughs> and one of the fun things we are working on is actually restructuring the replay videos and adding um, the content so you can easily search for something if you're looking for a certain topic. Okay, so, whew. <laughs> and I know, Nancy, sometimes my brain does not turn off in order to sleep, <laughs> right? Okay, so, um, so, one thing I just want to let you know, as far as getting the link for the third Friday of the month, so that is going to be my um, my loyal customers. When you order with me repeatedly, and I'm if there's not you know a certain dollar amount or anything, but just when I see that you uh, choose me as your advisor when you shop, that's what's going to trigger that you get the email link to join me on the third Friday. Okay, so I think there's a, there's a lot to go through. Word of the year. Okay, so Tuesdays, as I mentioned, Tuesdays are now going to be, I think I have it up here, Craft Your Joy with Lauren Hines. So Tuesdays are going to be fun little projects that we are going to complete. And most of the time, my Tuesdays are going to be pre-recorded little short videos. 
So you can find them both on YouTube and on Facebook. But uh, once again, I, I needed to kind of pull back from always having to do lives and have that, you know, kind of aggressive schedule and really focus on um, ways that I can add more in, you know, do things that I need to do with my business and have a little more time. So if you caught the Tuesday, my kickoff, I did do that one live and we did, we made some fun cards. So we made this fun um, thank you card and congrats card. So if you want to watch the process video on that, that's on um, on YouTube, you can find it or on Facebook. And uh, that's the kind of project we're going to be doing on Tuesdays. Just something fun and quick. Um, a new, like I've got this Valentine card in my head that I want to create for you. It's going to be fun. So as soon as I get that Valentine paper, I'm going to do a little video on that and other just fun topics. And then those videos are going to trigger the item that will be on sale in my shop for that week. So every Tuesday, there'll be a new item that goes on sale. Uh, the Tuesdays will still be live, um, uh, posted at noon, at noon Pacific. <laughs> noon Pacific on Tuesdays is when you should see the new video. Okay, so that is my new Tuesday schedule. So if you are interested in tidy ups, boy, I still have a ton of tidy ups that I can do. And I am getting very much closer on getting my craft room organized, you know, kind of finished and organized so that I can give you a grand tour of that as well. So I've got to have time for that too. <laughs> okay, so... Um, we talked about pop membership. Oh, and the pop membership is still the second Saturday of every month. So just mark it in your calendar, second Saturday every month from noon Pacific until 4 p.m. We go four hours. And that usually involves, in fact, I'll put the card up so you can see it. Here's January's pop crop. Um, it's four hours together. You're going to get exclusive sketches, layouts, and borders. You get access to past crops and, of course, the most amazing community. So <laughs> um, the pop crop is either a monthly or a yearly membership. You can sign up. Once you um, cancel your membership, you don't have access to that membership member area, so you won't be able to access the videos anymore. But as long as you're a member, you have access um, for those videos. So... Um, and Joni, now I'm not really going to do a supply list for the Tuesdays. It's just going to be using things that we have, like the decorative trimmer and cardstock or, you know, kind of just fun things like, you know, the new Valentine pack. So uh, whatever it is, we'll, we'll, you'll, it'll be easy. It'll be easy to, to, to replicate. Okay. Um, Yes, and, and it, it does auto-renew as long, your POP membership will auto-renew as long as your credit card uh, information is still valid. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Sue, for answering Keisha's question. Okay, and will I be selling the calendar bundle or only through Creative Memories? Um, it'll probably end up in my shop at some point, but right now it's just through the Creative Memories link. So... Yeah. And the, the tidy ups. Yeah, there are, I know it was, uh, here's the thing. I'm still going to have, <laughs> you know me, I love organizing, right? I mean, I love organizing. So the thing about a wider craft your joy Tuesday is that I can still talk about organizing <laughs> and still bring you some fun ideas. It's just that not every single Tuesday is going to be talking about organizing. And I did cover a lot of different um, areas in the scrap room for that. So yeah, there you go. And Debbie's like, yay to the tour. Yeah, I, I got to get, got to get those last things in here. I just ordered, oh, there's a stamp in storage sale. In case you guys didn't know, there's a stamp and storage sale. Um, the whole month of January, everything is 15% off. So I ordered some more stamp and storage. <laughs> I'll have to share that with you. On a Tuesday, I'll share that with you. How about that? Okay. Um, hey, Carrie's here. Welcome, welcome. So, okay. 
Um, <laughs> I know. And that's why I need to go out to Ohio and visit Carrie. I need more time to do that. Don't I, Carrie? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so welcome, welcome to everyone who just hopped on. Okay. I think it is time to switch over to my desktop. Let me do that. And, um, I'm going to show you what's in front of me because we're going to do something super fun today. And I'm going to talk about, again, my crafty plans for 2024. So as we know, a lot of times through the years, our scrapbooking changes, right? Depending on how many photos we have um, that we're taking currently. And I know from, for myself personally, the... Um, my family albums, my current family albums, like 2023, 2024, and so on, look a lot different than 2003, which I'm still getting caught up with, which is going to be two volumes because my kids were little and so darn cute. I took so many pictures. In fact, you know, I've got my, I still have my 2003 and I'm, I'm working through all those books, but look at all those photos. I'm still working through it. So, and and if you're in the um, 100, and I forgot to mention the 101 sketch challenge, um, I just put up some new sketches from my 2003 book. And for the sketch challenge, I should also just mention, um, that is a, that's a perk. And um, I, I scrapbook as I can. So for that, for that challenge, and I post, but you should know, I did put up, I think, four new sketches over this break. Um, and the more I can get up, the more I will post. But, you know, it's, again, just trying to find the time to do it all, right? But this is my 2003 box. But when I look at and scroll through what kind of photos I'm taking currently for the, you know, current years that I'm working on, it's a little different. So when Donna mentioned um, this new uh, thought that she had, it sparked so much, <laughs> so many ideas. And she's like, hey, Lauren, have you ever heard of, um, what was the first, um, like uh, 365 days of weather? And uh, a lot of people, well, first of all, it came out through crochet or knitting, right? Like you crochet or knit a color depending on the weather for that year. I mean, that day, right? And she's like, but do you know what? You can do it with scrapbooks. And I thought, what? What are you talking about? What does this look like? This sounds really intriguing. So we, we texted back and forth and talked about it. And then um, there were a couple of close to my heart makers who did this uh, 365 days of weather challenge in their scrapbook for 2022 temperature blankets. Yes, Carrie. Well, guess what we're going to do for 2024? <laughs> we are going to do 365 days of weather in our 24. Well, this is what I'm going to do. You can come along and join me in the journey if you like. <laughs> um, and so what I started, what Don and I were talking about is, okay, so we have to have, you know, and you can watch the Close to My Heart um, ladies. They did beautiful albums. So we're going to bring that into the creative memories world. And how can we use our products and our fun tools and our colors and our, all of our cool paper and everything to create this idea? So here's how it's going to go. Tonight, we're actually going to make a really cool title page. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. And kind of as we're putting this together, I can answer questions on the title. And basically what we're going to do is talk about um, how we can use color because it's all about color. And this is one reason why all the color cardstock is um, on sale in, in my shop and how we can use color to represent uh, temperature and then how that's going to translate into our albums for 
uh, into our, my 2024 album. So as you can see, this is going to be my title page. And I thought I want to do something really fun and colorful um, that is going to just make this uh, album kind of pop. So we're going to finish. I started it so you could kind of get an idea of where we're going. I'm going to talk about this whole process and how to get that set up. And then we're actually going to finish um, the other two squares here. And I'm going to show you kind of how all this came together. But this is the title page. You can see these are um, the letter. These numbers are cut. This is cut. I'm going to talk about that. This is cut. There's an offset on that. So um, yes, we're going to talk about cut files. <laughs> You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone, my friends, and do that. And we're going to talk about how to do that. Okay, so going back then to the idea is basically every month you are going to um, go get your temperature, uh, what do they call it? Summary, your summary of what the temperatures were for your zip code. And on, um, on thir the third Thursday this month on uh, in my customer and team group, um, we're going to do all the setup for this album. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you how to get to the, the um, weather. We're going to talk about how to do the um, the chart. We're going to talk about colors. Donna and I have been, you know, looking at colors and uh, how, how do you pull in other patterns and different things, the, the temperature ranges and get all the setup done so that um, the following month, every third Friday, so this is going to go on for 13 months by January, the third Friday in January of next year, our album will be done. It will be done, right? And yes, and we can send out the links and, and get you all prepped up for um, getting your album started. Now, if you are, if this does not excite you and you're like, Lauren, that just sounds so dumb. Just know that the layouts that I'm going to create for this are going to be transferred. You can use any collection any collection you want. So you, we are, I'm going to give you a two page sketch and you can use that any way you want it. It does not have to be with the color and it doesn't have to match the temperature or anything like that. You can just go, Oh, I'm scrapbooking my pets. And so I'm going to use that layout for my pets and that's totally fine. But each, each month that third Friday, I will give you a new two page sketch for the layout that we're creating in our album. Okay. <laughs> I hope, am I, are you guys still with me? <laughs> I hope you're still with me. Okay. So in addition, we're going to make like a little color deck, um, with the, a little temperature color swatch deck. So you're going to need your, your square maker and your markers so that we can go, okay. And this is going to be different depending on where you live. And that's one thing why it's really important to get this set up because like here in Southern California, we don't have as much of a, a temperature variation, right? Like we don't get snow. I don't get snow here, but um, in order to make this a really colorful project, I may need to um, tweak what my temperature variations are. So we're going to talk all about that, all those details on um, the third Friday of the month. But I kind of wanted to give you a little overview on that. And so one of the things that I mentioned, remember, was to get your <laughs> rainbow refresh uh, pod. And isn't, I mean, it's perfect, right, for all the rainbow colors. And so what I ended up doing is I pulled all of my totally tonal um, packs from this past year and put them in here. And then all these projects are going to go in this pod. And then everything will be kind of contained in here for my 365 days of color project. Okay, so it's all contained in here, all the, um, you know, any of the cut files and different things. And I've got some more surprises that are going to come along the road, come along the way for, um, uh, for this album too, that I have, um, 
thought about, but I have not created yet. Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry guys. <clears throat> Let me get a drink. Any questions so far? Thank you, Donna. Yeah. And if you, if I'm messing anything up, you know, correct me, please. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> let me get that frog out of my throat. Okay. So what we're going to do um, with our title page, and you could do the same kind of title page for any project, right? Or for any album and um, use whatever colors speak to you or, you know, just make your heart sing. And, um, and then, you know, just make your own, make your own title page. So this is the sketch when I was thinking, what do I want to do? This was my original sketch that I came up with. And you can see, I kind of tweaked it a little bit, um, depend, you know, after I did some of the design work for the numbers and the writing. And, um, but that was kind of the original spark for the title page. And <clears throat> the other thing I want to mention before we kind of jump in and, and talk more about how to do this is um, when we get started, I want to share a fun hack that I discovered. And I'm just going to show you that really quick in my album. And uh, one of the things that that struck me as really fun from the video that I watched from the scrapbookers was that each double page, so each double page will have a layout with all this color on it, right? So you're going to have all these pieces of color depending on what month you're scrapbooking, right? So say, you know, this month we had a lot of orange and yellow. And then you might have only a two-page spread, but what if you have more photos than a two-page spread. Well, we've got peekaboo pockets, which you guys know I absolutely love. But then I was also thinking more about the um, multi-pocket pages, which I also absolutely love. And then I thought, well, how can we make it kind of fun so that we have, we can still see the background, we can still see the layout and all the color, right, on both sides of our layout but we have some little um, extra spaces for photos. So I thought a fun setup would be to use the new Happy Album pockets, right? And if you remember, the brackets are in the same place here so that they fit in a 12 by 12 album. So you could just add those right in. This could be one format if you need to add more photos. So this would add one, two, you know, three, four, you could put little photos here, or you could put journaling here, you know, however you want to use it. Um, uh, decoration. This would be one way to add in your um, extra photos, or you could use a multi-pocket page and you're like, well, Lauren, where's, the, what happened? Where's the rest of it? So what I decided to do was cut my multi-pocket page off with the the three horizontals and then I have the two verticals and then you're like well how did you get that in your book well I'm going to share my little hack on how to do that and um it is really really easy and I have been wanting to figure a way out for quite a while on how to keep the three horizontals. And, and here's the thing, you don't have to use a multi-pocket, but you can use a six by 12 peekaboo pocket. That's fine too. And, and that's an easy way you can add that to your page. This was just kind of fun because it has slots. I mean, I, I just, I kind of like it. Um, so I had been trying to figure out a way to use this side once you cut it. And I finally, it finally dawned on me how to do that. So I'm going to set this aside and show you um, how I have this in my album. And you're going to need one little tool. And I have this one linked on, um, I have it linked in the description. It's from Amazon. And basically it's called a badge slot punch. So do you see it punches this kind of roundish oval right here? And so... That was the trick, was finally going, 
oh, we can use this strip right here, this extra strip, and put that in the album. So basically, all you need to do is get your trimmer and trim right at that opening. So um, the opening is here on this side, right here. So right where this opening is on the pocket page, put that on your cut line. And I'm just gonna go all the way down and cut that edge off. Okay, so I've just trimmed the three pockets right here and then we have this one. So now we've got to figure out where to line up <clears throat> the, the holes, right? We want to punch the holes. So what I did is I just lined these two up and then scoot the top one down so you can kind of see, let me get a little closer for you. You can kind of see, here's the edge of the plastic and here you can see the brackets through it. And then this is the time when you can grab your photo labeling pencil and then make sure you're, you're even, you're lined up so everything's gonna look really good. And basically I'm just aiming to get, whoops, I just marked a little bit more. I'm just aiming to get those brackets centered in this plastic strip. Okay, so can you see? It's kind of hard to see, but do you see? You can kind of barely see that little wax pencil mark, right? Just right there. Okay, so then um, I actually forgot to see if this one was going, this is a brand new one that was really highly rated on Amazon. And I'm gonna see if this punches, okay. Oh, it's kind of hard to see where it is, isn't it? Actually, I haven't, let's see. I wonder if you can take that off. I meant to try this out, it slipped my mind. Okay, hmm, I cannot see getting that right in the center. Okay, so we're gonna have to just, okay, I think for this, this one, we're going to eyeball it right in the center and then, nope, you know what? I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. I'm gonna grab my other one. <laughs> this is the original one I had, but here's the thing you can, and so you can actually see it, but you have to use um, scrap cardstock in order to punch it through, or scrap paper, I mean. So let me grab the, post-it that I have um, because it, it does not like punching directly through the plastic very well. So let me just get this through and then we'll, um, there's going to be a way to find out if this one works. But on this one, here we go. So now you can see that I can, yeah, right there you can see that brown, the black line right in there. So then you just punch it and you've got that oval shape that our flex hinge straps can go through. Okay, does that make sense? So you, you're, you're working on getting that oval shape. Now you could probably do the same thing with an X-Acto knife, um, but this was just a little bit easier to do. So let me see if I can figure out with this one. Um, okay, so the punch, it looks like the punch is right here where that silver piece is. That's where the punch goes down. So I'm going to line up my line this way with that silver punch. But as I put it in, I'm going to um, make sure it's lined up in the center this way. So this is Lauren struggling right here to get this in the right spot. And I think I'm gonna to have to take this off because I can't see it as well. Okay, now I know that's in the center there and center there. So let's see if this one punches. Oh, see that punches really well too. Okay, so uh, 
I was just eyeballing it, but basically I got that right where that line was too. So either one, if you just, um, you can either click on the link and see if that one will take you to it, or if you like the idea of being able to see it. This is just a heavy duty one and, and it's kind of big for your hand. So I was thinking this one might be better, but um, it has the cover on it. So maybe there's one that doesn't have the cover. Okay, but once you have your, your holes cut, and it looks like I need to just trim that little piece off. And I have to say, I have had this in my craft room for a long time because I love that um, ID slot punch, like for just for making tags and different things. It's just so fun. It's just fun. <laughs> just a fun thing to have. A different type of hole punch for your craft room. Okay, so then once you have that, then you're going to lace that through your album just like you would a bracket. So that hole is going to line up right there with your brackets, and then you're going to put that in your album. So once you have it in, does that make sense? So once you have it in, you are you don't even notice, right? You probably didn't even notice. That's how I got this little strip in here is with those holes. So that's just kind of a fun hack. And, and actually, I think this would be a good way, you know, these little oval punches to add other things in to our strap hinge album. Okay, so there you go. Um, do the test on paper first for the, your new punch. Yeah, <laughs> I should have done that, Sharon. Okay, so... <laughs> And Nancy's like, I love your hacks. Okay, so there, there you go. Um, so try, try, this is, like I said, it's called an ID tag, ID, like identification, um, or badge holder punch, and you get that long um, oval slot, which is just fun. I mean, I, I'm just, I, I think it's just going to be fun to use that in other ways in your albums too. Okay, so let's go into the title page. And let me kind of tell you how to get this set up. So I decided to choose for my background black. So this is a black 12 by 12. And then this piece on top is actually white shimmer. Can you kind of, there you go. You can kind of see the shimmer. And I just wanted a little something more special for the title page that gave um, some separation from all the color, but just a, you know, kind of a soft neutral. So the white shimmer worked beautifully. So this pa paper here is cut down a half an inch on two sides. Okay, so it's um, 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and that way it gives you the quarter inch reveal all the way around. So then in order to have, so we're doing the four seasonal squares. And like I said, so this can work if you wanted to use um, paper, winter paper, spring paper, summer paper, fall paper, that would be a beautiful layout as well. And uh, a fun title page, right? And so to do this, what the math that works out the best is to have uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter black if you want a black or whatever color mat you want and then my white cards are four by four okay so these are four by four and then in order to have just a little um mat on these i made my black uh, squares four and a quarter by four and a quarter okay so you just get that little reveal around all the sides okay so then um Let's talk next about, well, should we talk about cut? Let's talk about color next, and then I'll come back to cut the cut files. So then next, we're going to talk about color. And um, we have such amazing, such an amazing color palette, right? We've got the eggplant, purple ice, navy blue, baby blue, red, uh, cranberry, red, soft pink. We have a uh, canary, pumpkin, tangerine, 
I'm going to see. I, I don't know if I'm, you guys might have to help me. <laughs> Kelly Green, um, Island Waters, Avocado, Dark Sea Green, Dark Green. I think I got them all. Woo! Now, the fun thing is with all these colors, those are the, the cardstock colors. With all these colors, there's also tonals, right? We've got all the beautiful, totally tonals. So if you are one of those like me that was like, well, it's a new product. I've got to have it. I need every totally tonal that they ever came out with. This is a great way to use those tonal colors. So for each color collection, I decided to bring in not only the um, solid core cardstock, but also some of the tonal patterns that went with each of the collections, each of the colors. So, um, and that is just kind of your choice. Dig through your tonals and go, what, what looks good? What, what strikes you? So like on this one, you can see I used stars and the burst, and this one is the blue dots, and then that was the blue polka dots. And then in the reds, I found I really kind of needed a, an extra red pattern. So I did the red burst and the red chevrons. And then the same for the pink, this kind of darker pink and then the lighter pink pattern. And then I just repeated the pattern um, back and forth. So if I were looking at my weather, the coldest months are gonna be winter. So these kind of represent the coldest colors. My warmest months are gonna be the summer. So these were red all the way down from purple into the blues and greens, into the orange and, and yellow, into the red are the hottest colors. And you can set that up again, however you'd like to, right? I mean, you, you can pick whatever colors you want if you like the idea of the 365 days of color, which thank you, Donna. <laughs> You've got me hooked. So then um, I want to kind of just take you through the process of how we're going to do these squares. So what I did is I took one of the four by four squares and I added repo adhesive on there. Can you guys see that? And then I started with um, a kind of temperature variation. So it's going from, um, let's see, Oh, this is actually fall. <laughs> this is going to be down here. So it's going to be um, coming from the greens into the yellows, into the oranges. But because I don't have enough colors to go through the whole square, what I'm going to do is actually then repeat. And that's kind of how I have this one done. If you notice, I get to about here and then I started repeating the colors back down. And I did the same thing after the purple into the blue, then I went back into purples and down instead of continuing into the next color series. So I, I grouped them, purple and blue for winter, red and pink for summer, orange and yellow for fall, and kind of the green and teal, blue-green for spring. Okay, so those were my, just kind of what made sense to me, but once again, do whatever you like. So once I start putting the, the colors down, I should also mention each strip is one half inch, one half inch strip. Okay. And we are doing this at an angle. I didn't really, um, <laughs> I, I didn't measure the angle. If you want to do that, um, that might be a good idea, but I'm just kind of eyeballing that it's a similar angle to what I started with here. So looks like looks like it's all gonna be kind of worked out pretty much. So once I have these, um, the first pattern row down, I'm gonna flip that over and grab my scissors and just cut that extra off, okay? There we go. And then we've got all these to reuse again, all these fun strips. I'm gonna do the same here. You could use your trimmer if you wanted to, but you know, sometimes it's just therapeutic to use my scissors. There we go. 
Okay, so now you can see I've got that started. And I'm looking at this and I think that it's a really kind of a little uh, shy on yellow, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this yellow strip back in here, but I'm gonna add another canary, another uh, pattern from Canary. So you'll notice here, I actually put two pattern, well, one from, I think actually these were both from Tangerine. No, one was from Pumpkin, one was from Tangerine. But I only had one um, color from Canary. So let's grab the Tolly Tonal Canary. And this is where, you know, just kind of do what, what works for you. Let me find it. Oops. Okay. Where'd I put my canary? Pumpkin. Oh, there it is. So I have my totally tonal canary right here in my rainbow pod ready to go. So, whoops. And now that's stuck to it. So what I'm looking for actually in these tonals is something that's kind of a, a darker, I feel like I need a darker pattern. So let me see what's on the back of the hearts. That's, those are light. That has a lot of white in it. So let's just flip through. A lot white. There's the checkerboard. There's this one. But I think the one that, this is just getting stuck to everything, isn't it? Um, the one that I like is the, the yellow stars. This kind of darker yellow, which I don't really have in this collection. So I'm gonna take this and um, just cut another half inch strip. Okay, so we're gonna put that on the trimmer. Just pop that half inch. And then this is just gonna go into my working pile because we'll be coming back and using all these colors again. So then this is gonna go right at an angle next to that. See, so now I've already got like this really interesting color variation. And then uh, next to that, I'm gonna do polka dots right here. Then I'm gonna go back into the orange pumpkin next to that. And then the variegated pumpkin and then I'm just going to end it, that little piece, with some tangerine. And there's really no pattern to it. It's just kind of getting this really nice palette of tonal colors uh, onto your square. Okay, so again, take the scissors, just chop, chop those edges off. and pop that in there. And then I've got a few little extras trim off here. Ooh, I caught the card. There we go. Okay, so there's fall. This is going to be actually down here um, next to summer. So I'm doing my squares in the order that my album will be. So. In starting in January, it's winter, spring, summer, fall. That, that's what I decided to do. So then I'm gonna take my black card and mount this on the black. Okay. And I'll pop into the chat to see if I have any questions. So I'm gonna turn it this way. I think I need to trim one little extra piece off there. Okay. Okay, so this is a really, really easy sketch. Four by four squares, four and a half, four and a quarter by four and a quarter mats. And then you can see that gives you uh, some nice room for titles and other things. Okay, so let me get this down and I'm gonna come in to see if there's any questions from you guys in the chat. Okay. Hello, hello, okay. Um, uh, let's see, question, Sharon, do the test. Oh, we got that one already. Um, 
Okay, how many pages are done per month? One page per day or two pages? Oh, great question. Yeah, the original idea. Oh, good, Donna, you've already on, you're on it, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> yes, um, original idea was one double page spread each month with any pocket page inserts you would like to add. Exactly. And so that's what I loved about the hack was that we could add in, if you have a busier month, a month with that you did take more pictures, you could add them in with a multi-pocket page and still see the side. Or like I said, a six by 12 peekaboo pocket would work fine. Or the, um, the happy album multi-pocket page as well. Okay, so now what we have, we have winter, summer, and then this is fall. So now what I want to do is talk a little bit about the cut files. And um, I have a new toy <laughs> I am in love with. I have to tell you guys. You guys, I'm so in love with this little thing. So um, this was my happy, Merry Christmas to me. I got the new Cricut <laughs> because, I, because I didn't have enough cutters, right? I got the Cricut Joy Extra, and um, it is so small, you can see, but this little guy, the reason I got the extra is because this does do print and cut, and that means I can print on my favorite Red River paper, and then um, have the Cricut cut my little embellishments or whatever I want to do. So what I decided for this project was to kind of play around with cut files again. And um, I came up and, um, let's see, do I have, I think I'm missing, oh, it's over in the other room. So um, I actually decided to write our year in color. I thought that was kind of an appropriate title um, in my own handwriting. And then I made a cut file from it. So, uh, this is part of what will be available for my VIP group is that you'll get um, this cut file and the numbers and the seasons. Okay, so basically then once you have the PNG file, you bring it into your Cricut or Silhouette Studio and you just load it in and you can see like here, this was when I was cutting my um seasons spring summer fall and winter so this is already sized and ready to go and the only um thing i need to make sure that you know is that summer is the longest word and so the offset for summer has to be sized to fit within a four inch square okay so when if you go back to your your layout board. If you look really close here, you see that's the four inch mark right here. And so I made sure, um, let me turn the um, offset layer on. So I made sure that with the offset, that summer would still fit in that four inch mark. Okay, so I'm giving you the artwork, but you're going to have to do the cutting and all that good stuff. So these are the little tips. Now, if you don't get my cut files, you know, just go into Cricut or Silhouette and make your own. I mean, you can still do that here um, in, you know, for your titles. So I just did a one point, I think I did a 1.3 offset, 1.2 or 1.3 offset on my um, seasonal titles on these titles. And I think it works perfectly. Okay, so then you want to cut your offset in white and then your titles, I decided to cut in black just because I kind of, once again, there's so much color. I wanted the titles to have a little bit of new, neutral and pop. So this is what the offset looks like when you cut that. And then, um, and this is how big the mat is for the... Um, new new Cricut. It's just so much fun and you can just use it with your iPad. And so um, I know you're like, but Lauren, why do I need another one? It's just, it's so cute. It sits right next to me. 
So it it's kind of about um, workflow, right? Like being able to access and just grab from where you're sitting and just go, okay, all right, let me, let me make that title, bam, 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 do it in the iPad, pop it over there, throw a piece of paper on there, and you just keep going all from the same space, if that makes sense. That just, um, it's just easy and fast. And I find that the more I make things easy and fast, the more I get done, right? So I'm just putting some repo adhesive on the back of these letters, and then I'm going to pop them on the offset backing. Ah, and this is a perfect opportunity. Who was asking about the pickup square, the pickup stick, pickup stick, right? So if you wanted, now I've got that. If you, oh, it's really sticking to me instead here. It's just not wanting. <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't the best example because I already have the sticky stuff, but say this, which doesn't have the adhesive on the back. If I wanted to just place that down, that's what the lifter stick is good for, is to helping you we like pick little things up and, you know, putting them in places they need to go. You can see how if you're working with smaller items, how that's really helpful. So that's the new, that's the lifter stick that's now back in stock. Okay, let me put the L on for fall. Pop that in there. Okay. And you can play around with that, get them um, centered. That's one reason I like using repo is so that you can kind of play around with that. And then we're gonna add some adhesive to the back of fall and then add fall right here. Okay, so now we have winter, summer and fall. Let's just do the spring really quick and then I'm going to show you what I'm thinking about for um, embellishing. Oh and we also have the 2024. Now that I have fall down I can add my other big numbers and I sized these numbers so that they would come out to be about eight inches wide. Let's see I'm going to put this right here. And these again, they're all um, PNG format, so you can just pull them into whatever cutting program you use. Here we go. And this was a custom. I wanted to make this long two swoop right here, so um, you you may not find a font exactly like that because I edited um, that number two. Okay, so then we have. 2024, our year in color. So if you don't have the cut file, you can also just write it yourself, our year in color, or find a fun font that you like and um, and do that. Like I was playing around with some fonts before I, oh, over here, before I decided to hand letter it. And um, there's some cute ones, right? Like, You can see other fun ones, other fun choices that you can add to your title page. Okay, let's do um, any questions. <laughs> Donna loves her Joy Extra. I know I'm so in love with it. So fun. Um, okay. Oh, you had in Maryland, you had an earthquake too. Ooh. Yeah, it sounded like a huge truck going past the. Oh, I know. Er earthquakes can be a little scary. Oh, for sure. For sure. Okay, so I'm going to get my greens and teals ready. And let me move this over here so we can get this in the center and just kind of go start to finish. I kind of had the fall one started, but now let's just kind of finish this one off. So we're just going to put adhesive around the edges 
and a little bit on the inside. You don't have to do the whole thing. The edges are really the most important. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna start <clears throat> with the blue greens with Island Waters, and then we're gonna move into green, um, dark sea green, and then the, let me see if I get these in the right way, in the right pattern first. Actually, I'm gonna start with the dark, and then here, let's see. We can do dark green. Then we've got Kelly green. Which one of the, where's my Kelly green? I don't think I, I'm gonna to have to get a Kelly green pattern. I forgot to cut a Kelly green pattern. This is avocado and this is avocado pattern. And um, Donna, I know we didn't talk about Kelly Green, but then afterwards I was thinking, ooh, maybe we need Kelly Green in there. That's, that's kind of a personal choice too. Um, it's, it's going to add more um, color variations and more temperature changes. But we do have Totally Tonals for Kelly Green. And that was a new color that they brought out this year. So more choices unless or is this from kelly green oh wait no this is from kelly green i take that back this is from kelly green although it does have a lot of the dark green dark green we didn't have a totally tonal this one yeah okay i've got myself figured out now so this is actually like here then kelly green avocado there we go that's the palette now where's my <laughs> Oh, yes, Lauren, the card is stuck to the back of your paper bag because you did that. Yeah, you did that. Okay. <laughs> All right, friends, let's get this um, stuck down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so the colors will be pretty much representing each season. Absolutely. Um, and But it's all based on temperature. So um, our fall, sometimes our fall can be really hot. So I'm most probably my fall will have some of the red and pink in it. Because, you know, here in Southern California, it's just hot. It's just always hot. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm just getting that kind of lined up. <clears throat> and then on the edge. So when you're doing this, one of the main things to keep your eye on is that this edge is over the um, side of your card. You know what I mean? So you don't want to accidentally do that. And then it's like, oh, when you cut it off, you know, you don't have a straight edge. So just make sure you pull that paper all, see like here it's not off. It has to go all the way up and off the edge of your card, your four by four. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna take some tonal paper. Again, watch that top edge that you have it off your card. Here. And then we're gonna move into the green. Here. That's it, that was, now I got myself all figured out. And you can also see on the back side of the tonal paper, there's also other patterns. So, you know, you can flip it. And then Don and I were talking like, oh, are you gonna use um, from your weather, are you gonna use the high or the low? And that's a whole nother conversation, right? It's like, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my weather history, my history, and take a look at last year, and then kind of make a decision would it be more fun? Would the colors be more fun to do the highs or the lows for my area? Um, and like I said, for California, I might want to do lows because we don't get really cold. So I may not get into, you know, the purples and so forth if I don't do the lows. Anyhow, lots of food for thought on your palette, but that's what we're gonna work on um, this, this third Friday of the month. 
And like I said, if, if you um, aren't going to do the 365 days of color, that's totally fine too. Just come to the crop and work on whatever you want and come to the live. Just work on whatever you're working on. There we go. Okay, so now I just have a little bit more. I'm going to come back with my dark sea green in here and go back to island water. Oh, look at that's a fun. We could even add in that pattern. That's the opposite side of the burst. Let's do that. And then oh, I don't have to be that tall, huh? Move that down a little bit. And then Island Waters. Oh, I have just an itty bitty little corner there. I need to put a little adhesive there. And let's see, what am I going to, oh, maybe what I'll do is the other side of the dots. We'll add that right in there. Okay. So there's the ending of that. I'm going to flip it over again. And just trim this last bit off. Okay, and then we have our spring square done. So now I can just add that right in. I use regular adhesive, pop that on. Oh, I forgot my background. Wait, 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 there's more. <laughs> okay, where did I put? <clears throat> thought I cut one more backing square. Oh, but maybe not. I think I'm going to have to cut one. So you can see I'm also just um, keeping a file of all my cut papers and you know because as we go through the months like I'm going to be creating the monthly titles like January, February, March, April, May of course so we'll have more cut files for that and um, and then maybe some other fun little uh, downloads and things for this project as they pop into my head we'll have those. So this is again a four and a quarter by four and a quarter background piece. Okay, so we're going to add that in here. And then we're going to add the spring title to the top. Just center that. right here. Okay, now our last square into place. And you can see, woo, now we've got all the color. We've got all the color popping and just a super fun, super colorful uh, title page. So as you know, I have to embellish, right? And I was thinking, oh, I just, I don't, I don't know. What do you do? I mean, you could leave it like this. This is a beautiful, just simple, um, classic page for our title page. But I also thought, oh, we've got these adorable little um, enamel <laughs> pieces for the gnomes, the seasonal gnomes. Remember, this was kind of um, part of... Um, I think it was a promotion or something, but I do have a few of these left in the shop. You can, you can buy. Now, if you want to instead, I was also toying with the idea of doing a little gnome um, setup in, in a winter, a spring, summer, and a fall gnome little feature. And that would be kind of fun. So um, if you didn't want to do colors, wouldn't that be another choice for this same title page? But like, here's a, a four by four square. You could take your little gnomey buddies. <laughs> I'm just going to do this really fast and make three little gnomes. 
So you got to find the different beards and the different hats that go with each of these guys, right? And you could do use your punch. I'm not going to go take the time to do the punch, but um, let's see which one I'm missing. This tall hat. Wait. Uh, where's another tall hat? Here we go. That's brown. I don't want brown. I want to keep it all in the blues. Okay. Well, we'll just do, whoops, where is it? This tall hat, I'm not, I don't want the same body. So let's move this body in here and do this tall hat. And then um, let's do some the gray bottoms, and then which beard am I missing? I'm missing this beard, right? Because there's three different beards and three different types of hats. So you could do this guy here. Okay, and then I, I cut these apart so you could get kind of an idea. You could do a little seasonal setting with your enamel bits and do some snowflakes. Where's the other snowflake? Um, or you could do some stars in the background, whatever, whatever you like. And do a little um, gnome seasonal setup. Cute, right? So you could do that over here in winter if you didn't want to do color. And then every every season, get into your cute little fun gnome, gnome friends and use the um, little build a gnome set for that. Okay, <laughs> so depends on if you want a little more cutesy in your layout or if you want to just kind of Go, go for the color. So when I was looking at this, I was thinking, but I really do, I love these little um, enamels. So this could still be something fun to add to the title. So here we have, I'm not gonna take all um, my gnomes out. I'm keeping them just in uh, CD. Like these are what my um, layering shapes come in. So keep those if you put them into boxes and such, keep these because these are good for little small things. And then this would be really cute. Like spring, we could do some leaves over here and some flowers. Let's see. Could do a little flower like that. Um, and then for summer, Summer has the cutest little popsicle that's in the summer colors. Did you guys see those cute little popsicles? So you could do a popsicle over here for summer and maybe a little sunshine because these little sunshines are super cute. And, and the nice thing about the epoxy, just cut them apart and play with them before you peel them off. And... Um, and then you can make your decision before you stick anything down. And then fall, of course, has the beautiful fall leaves and pumpkins. So I like this leaf over here. And we need kind of a, let me do this red. You know me, I'm gonna have groups of three. <laughs> And maybe this one. Okay, so some fall leaves. So that was one thought I had on um, embellishing for the title page. And I'll kind of hold that up so you can see that a little closer with the little epoxies. But I haven't 100% committed, so you'll have to stay tuned and see what I actually peel off and stick down <laughs> for my embellishments. But that was kind of one of my thoughts was using these really fun 
um, seasonal embellishments from the gnome packs. Okay, yeah, Victoria says she loves the the gnome. So fun. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Maggie. So you know, a, a really fun title page. Here we are in the in the new year, but you could you could see how this could be used for any title page for any album. Just switch it up. If it's your pets, you could put pictures of your pets in these squares, you know, and then do a big title about pets down here or, you know, a lot of fun, different choices. Um, you know, the, the, the layout itself, the sketch itself is really simple. Okay. Um, so what else am I planning on doing for the rest of my crafty? Like, yeah, if there's any extra time, <laughs> One of the other things um, I'm hoping to share uh, as we get through the year is that I want to uh, spend some time creating an art journal this year. I've wanted to create an art journal for a long, long time. And so I've uh, been testing some journals, uh, different journal brands and different things. And it's really just kind of Again, like my Tuesdays, just keeping the creativity flowing and uh, just a very easy way to kind of get some thoughts and pen to paper and, and some fun things. It's very different than having, you know, journaling in a planner or anything like that. It's really more art based. And like I said, I've been I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So we'll see. <laughs> I'll keep you informed on that. But that was another uh, one of my crafty things I'd like to do this year. And if it does get rolling, I will be sure to share that on my Tuesdays with you. And also, um, let's see, I think, and then catch up on my other projects. That's my other goal. And that really ties in to the pop system and uh, really getting, you know, the the funnest way for me to skip around and go, oh, I'm going to work on 2003. Oh, I'm going to work on um places we, you know, uh, people we love. Oh, I'm going to work on, you know, my house project book. Being organized and understanding the system and having my pictures and photo folders and in, in power sort boxes and ready to go gives me that opportunity to kind of skip around and keep, get caught up on those projects. So you will see me working in my 101 sketch challenge, getting my pages done there in the pop crops. I always work on my albums, my own album pages in the pop crops as well. You know, we get the sketches and the quick cuts and all that. So that's my plan for 2024. And I'd love for you to join me and uh, take the challenge. So um, I'm curious what your thoughts are, not just about the title page we did tonight, but what do you think about this fun 365 days of color. As you can see, I love color. I love color. So when Donna brought this up, I just thought, oh, it's so fun. I got to try it. I got to try it for one year. And so this is going to be my big moments are still going to be in my monthly layouts, right? And then um, I'm going to kind of weave in big moments, um, everyday moments, and then use that fun color background, kind of weaving all of this together for my family album. Okay, so Nancy's mind is awakened. <laughs> I love it. That's so fun. Okay, and Lori, yeah, the, the regular time for Friday night scrapbooking is 5 p.m. Pacific, so um, that's when I, I do my lives. Um, okay, so um, Stella says color choices this is like a temperature blanket. Exactly. Yes. That's what we're doing. 365 days of color. So, <laughs> and I see a lot of you um, like the gnome idea too. All right, friends. So that is our Friday night scrapbooking for tonight. We did a lot. We talked about a lot of different things. You kind of got caught up on my crafty plans for the new year, doing this fun uh, 365 days of weather. I'm just so excited because color makes me happy. I just, I love working with color and we have so many wonderful papers and patterns that we can do. So, um, let's, let's just have some fun this year, bringing on the color. 
and I'll be telling you the tools you need. We're going to use our, we're going to really get our tools out and use them. The square maker, the circle maker, the custom cutting system and all that good stuff. So uh, our hexagon maker, we're going to use that punch. So I've already kind of got a little schedule planned on the shapes and things that we're going to use, but every month it'll be a different layout. All right. So Look for an email. I should also just wrap up and say the email for the live on Friday will be sent the Thursday night before the third Friday. Okay, so you're not going to get that email. I, I am going to send an email kind of explaining all of this again to my customers. Uh, it should go out this weekend. But the email with the invitation, that will always be the night before the live. Okay, that gives anybody... Uh, who's new, who wants to order the opportunity to get that link. Okay. Um, so I know that was a lot to digest. <laughs> Go have some tea or a glass of wine. Enjoy the rest of your evening or your day if you're over in Australia. And uh, I hope that we get a lot of new fun, crafty things going this year. I just, I'm excited. I'm renewed. My, I'm energized again kind of, uh, you know, reorganizing, embracing uh, a new change for my business and giving me some time to connect with people that I need to connect with. So thanks so much for being here tonight. Enjoy the replay if you ca uh, came in late. And uh, I'd love if you're catching the replay, let me know if you like the squares or the gnomes. Which camp are you in? Do you like the color squares or do you like the gnomes? And if you have other ideas for what to put in the squares for your title page. All right, friends, we will see you again uh, live on Facebook and YouTube the first Friday of every month for everyone in, is invited for that. Thanks again. Have a wonderful evening and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.